for this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the HPS Windows virus. Now, you can tell from the description here that this is a Windows 9X only virus, so it will not run on any Windows NT based operating systems, nor is it going to work on any Windows systems that are 64 bit capable. So, this is a 32 bit Windows 9X virus only. Now, we don't get a lot of information on our description here because we're using our Packard Mail computer here with Windows 95A. So, we're using Windows 95 exclusively for this virus because it does some interesting things with Windows 95 with its payload that we'll see when we get to running it. So, it's just under a 26 kilobyte application. It takes the appearance of an MS-DOS style executable. And a couple things that we will pay attention to. It's set to Saturday the 6th of November, so we're kind of in the future according to the date here because that's going to play into its payload. Now, HPS does a couple of things when we first run it. For one thing, it will infect some Windows applications right off the bat, namely Calculator being one of them. So, Calculator right now is only 58 kilobytes, but we'll see this increase to around 62 kilobytes or so when HPS infects it. It basically adds its code onto the existing application so it grows in size. The other thing it does is that it makes use of VXD calls. So when you first run it, it tries it installs itself to the system and uses VXD handles to intercept files, namely for infection, but also again with its payload that we're going to see. And then it terminates and stays resident in memory and it periodically checks to see if it is running in memory or not on the system with the are you here line. So that's pretty much how it gets on the system and what we're going to be seeing it do. So again, we've already verified that the date is Saturday. And we're going to install it on a Saturday because this kind of plays into its whole payload trick that it does. So we have a bitmap on the desktop here, which is kind of an airbrushed test, although I guess so you could also say that it looks like a suggest. Anyway take another couple of looks at something here. Of course, while there are image files on here, we also have system files that are also working as images, namely the logo.sys files. And there's three of them. You have logo, logo S, and logo W. And all of them correspond to whether Windows is starting up, shutting down, and in the case of this Packard Bell, since it doesn't have advanced power management, it's a little screen that tells you it's safe to shut off the computer. So we load this in MS Paint. Okay, so this is the Microsoft Windows 95 with Microsoft Plus, this is what we would see on the startup. So all is well. So let's run HPS. And when we run HPS, we get this little information dialog. It just says OK in the header. And then it says no problemo, which of course is no problem in Espanol. Click OK. And you can do this over and over. That's all you're going to get from running HPS. It's just that little message box. Now let's take a look at this bitmap, see if anything has changed with it. And you can tell that this bitmap has been flipped horizontally. Because now we have... <laughs> How would you say this? T S E T set. You'd probably call it set or if it was a JSV sedge. And I don't know if it's on here. Let's see if we can see it. Mm, we may need to stretch the image out. Because one of the things that HPS does also when it does a horizontal image flip is that it puts a little bit of code in the file to indicate that it's been infected and that it has flipped the image. So I'm going to stretch it out here to see if I can get that little placeholder visible on the image here without running out of memory on the computer here, of course. I see it's taking a while to do this operation. So let's go all the way down. It may be a little hard to see, but right in this corner you see two little squares. And basically this is the virus's placeholder that it has put on the file after it has flipped it. Now it has an actual text line. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll put it in little quotation marks or in the 
about section what it actually inserts there but again it's just a little notation that it adds to indicate that it has infected this bitmap file which is uncompressed that's the other thing to keep in mind is that HPS only works with com uh, uncompressed bitmap files it does not work with compressed ones so with that little placeholder it knows that this file has already been flipped so it will not do it again when it is worked with and any uncompressed bitmap files that we open or rename or save will get affected by HPS now of course as I said system bitmap files are not the only things that won't end up being affected because we go to the logo sys file we had here before we open it in MS Paint and now you see that our Windows startup has now been inverted as well and again there is a little tiny placeholder here from the HPS virus but we wouldn't see that until we expand it out some more let's expand this out this way and just by doing that you can pretty much see it right there the two little square dots at this placeholder and just for the fun of it here let's well, let me not save this because I don't want it showing like this. Because you may look at these and be like, okay, well, it's flipped it, but I want to flip it back so that it shows it correctly. Well, we can try doing that too. So, now let's try to skew. We want flip rotate, flip horizontal. Okay, so that looks kind of correct, doesn't it? Let's save it. Now let's open it again. And HBS has just gone right back and flipped it back. So even if you try to flip your images back correctly, HBS will just go back and flip them again. And also, again, I said it will infect .exe, Windows applications, and it should have done that to calculator. So remember, calculator was 58 kilobytes when we first looked at it before we ran HBS. Calculator is now 63.2 kilobytes. So HPS has infected that. So if this was brought on to another computer, then we ran the calculator on another computer with that increase, then yeah, we'd end up running HPS on that other machine as well. So let's go ahead and see this effect when we restart Windows. And there's our flipped Windows Startup logo. And you can probably tell too that while it's flipped there, the status bar on the bottom of it is not actually moving. It's static. Because the image, again, is not in the correct orientation that Windows is looking for, for that little animated status bar on the bottom, so it's just static. And this is some of the other things too. HPS gives us some errors in Windows at times, like telling us that a window is going to be closed or that we may run out of disk space on drive C. I had that happen at one point. Do that to the shutdown version. See, here's this run out of disk space on drive C prompt, which I know is not correct. In fact, it has taken focus on the desktop because it's not letting me click there. So let's just back up a little bit. And no, according to this, the free space is a gigabyte, so we don't have a free space problem. So that's a little interesting message that we also sometimes get with HPS running on the system. So anyway, let's do a normal shutdown now. There's the very message, and then there's the second one. So that is pretty much it for the HPS Windows virus.